Toast and jam, toast and jam. We do it because we can toast and jam. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Toast and Jam. I'm Jeff Prince with Fort Worth Weekly. Today's special guests are Joe R. Lansdale and his daughter Casey. How y'all doing? We're good. good. Thanks for having us. They have written a book. Show them this book. Now, uh, Joe's written a ton of books. Uh, he's written, uh, I don't know, you probably had 30, 40? About 50. Published books, and uh, his daughter, uh, Casey, lives out in L.A., and she's a, uh, also a writer and an actress and a country and western singer. So uh, they've co-written, I guess, y'all's first book, right? Together. It's our first collaboration yeah. as a book. We've done well, a couple short stories that we've yeah. had together, some novellas, but we're really excited to put all of them together in one place. And what is the book? What well, is Terror is our business. It's uh, about a supernatural detective. Yeah, you know, I've written a lot of things, but I thought I'd like to go back to some of the stuff I did for fun when I was a kid, and that's how it got started. And she, you know, wrote with me. Yeah, I had a character named Jana who was kind of kicking around in some other stories that I was working on, and we thought, how would it be if they crossed universes? And it turned out to be a lot of fun. It sure did. Really? Now, it seems like a nightmare working with your <laughs> father on a no, no, I'm creative like process. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to me, it's hard working with anybody on a creative process. You know, every, it's funny. Everything that we've done, people said, what, what did you fight about? What were the hard things? But it actually went really well, so we're assuming yeah. that the next one will just be complete chaos. Yeah, I, I hate collaborating <laughs> normally, but with... Um, with my kids, I do okay. With everybody else, I hate them. <laughs> well, that's good. Y'all get along because they're both uh, karate experts. <laughs> and so if y'all have an argument, it could get really... It could get ugly. Could get ugly in a hurry. Now, uh, Joe here, he wrote the books Happen and Leonard that became a Sundance original uh, series a few years ago. Mm -hmm. The number one... Yeah, number one show, show for three seasons. And uh, tomato, uh, Rotten Tomatoes had it at 100%. Sure did, yeah. After three seasons, yeah, still 100%. And you can see it on Netflix. That's right. But they canceled the damn thing. I right? know, what, what the hell? hell? Yeah, why What's did up they with cancel that? it? New management. Uh, new management and uh, probably cost more to make it than they really felt they were profiting. Who knows? A lot of different reasons. You never kind of really yeah. got the. And she was, in, you know, she was in the show. Yeah, I had a, a bit part in. I did some music for it. So, yeah. you know, nepotism alive and well. It was, <laughs> it was a great show. No, it was. It had that dude uh, that played Chalky on board. Oh, Michael, Michael K. Webb. Yeah, Seven. Mike's great. Yeah, he's, and, he's fantastic. And James Purefoy. They were wonderful. So, well, anyway, I'm glad Netflix has got it. Yeah. I'll keep it around for a while. Too. So, well, welcome to Fort Worth. They're on a book tour, and they swung by, and we're ha happy to have them. So, uh, what you Thanks think about Fort Worth? We, uh, well, I've been to Fort Worth many times. A friend of mine, Bill Paxton, was from Fort Worth, oh, and yeah. so I thought of him when we came in. Yeah, well, God bless Bill Paxton. You betcha. What are we going to toast today? Well, um, health, man. As always, health. Health. Where's my Where's my toast? Oh, I we need, I need about three or four toasts. And then we that. also should probably toast the book and, you know, moving forward with that, but mainly the health. All right, to health and to the book. Tell them the name of your book. Terror is our business. Terror is their business, by golly. That's right. All right, Casey, we're ready for the song. Let's do it. Tell us about this song we're going to sing. So this song is called Sorry Ain't Enough, and it was on my first album called Restless. I recorded this at the Cash Cabin outside of Nashville with John Carter Cash. I'm really proud of it, and I hope you enjoy it. You mean the Johnny Cash's cabin? That would be the one. Wow. Now there's some history there. It really was. That's Nashville, in Nashville, isn't it? Uh, it's right outside in Hendersonville. Man, I bet you felt some vibes. Oh, going as soon on. as I walked in, I was, you know, just smitten with everything. That The microphone was down here when I got there, and I said, hey, can we lift the mic up a little bit? And they said, oh, sorry, Loretta was in here earlier. I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll make it work. <laughs> if that's where she wants it, that's fine. Okay. She was short. She was a very she was petite little lady. Probably still had a little bit of Loretta's spittle on there. That's right. <laughs> One can only hope, you know, yeah. absorb. Right. All right. Well, this is, uh, you wrote this song? Yes. Okay. And this is off her album, and here we go. Uh, ready? You? Look, you hear what the cat drug in? Heard you might have lost your new girlfriend Then knock, knock, knock Guess who's at my door Now you're talking like you lost your mind Standing here handing me the same old lines How you wanna go back to what we had before Say there's nothing that you won't do To prove your love Well, why don't 
Jew. Try begging, try pleading, try getting down on your knees and falling and a squalling and a crawling back. Gonna take a whole lot more than all your lying, your crying. What you selling, boy? I can't buy it. You think a few little tears and a baby I was wrong. Gonna win back my love. We well, are sorry. meant for me you brought a teddy bear i guess you think that's sweet tell me boy how dumb do you think i am this is look like a swinging door your little key don't fit no more i think it's time you find a better plan start by telling me how much it hurts to not have me and when that don't work Try begging, try pleading, try getting down on your knees and falling and a falling and a crawling back. Gonna take a whole lot more. No, you're lying, you're crying. What you selling, boy? I can't buy it. You think a few little tears and a baby I was wrong. Gonna win back my love. Well, you're sorry, sorry ain't enough. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Love this song. Thank you, Joe. You're sorry. Well, that's a fact. You're sorry. I ain't taking you back. You're sorry. 